So let's summarize what we have learned. We have introduced ourselves to the REPL, this useful playground where we can try out some ideas in Python. And we will see that the REPL is extremely useful. But like all playgrounds, we will get tired of just exploring here. So in subsequent weeks, we will leave this playground, although I do want you to keep coming back to it if you want to try out simple ideas. Another very, very crucial idea that we have seen is that internally on a digital computer, everything is represented using zeros and ones. This applies not just to the data that you are representing, but to the actual code that will run on this system. Right now, I am recording this lecture as a PowerPoint. My PowerPoint file is saved as a sequence of zeros and ones. The program that is running that, for example, makes this red dot move when I am moving the mouse, that program itself is represented using zeros and ones. The colors, as we have seen, strings, numbers, everything internally is represented as numbers, which in turn can be represented in base 2 or binary as zeros and ones. Now, not everything can be represented. For example, most real numbers cannot be represented accurately. Even simple seeming numbers like 0 0.1 at least when you try to represent them as floats, you do not get a precise representation in Python. There are other ways in which you can represent the value uh, 0 0.1 or 1 tenths precisely, but not as a float. Now, because of the fact that every real world object or every real world entity, when it is represented on a digital computer, it has to be represented as an abstraction which may lose critical information. That loss of information can have dramatic effects. Sometimes those effects are tragic. If you're interested, you can look at this link where two disasters are uh, uh, detailed. One which resulted in the loss of human life and one that resulted in the loss of a huge investment in a satellite. Both these errors at their heart were caused because of numerical errors dealing with floating point numbers which are an approximation of real numbers. So the mathematics should have worked out but since real numbers were being represented as floats, errors crept in and those errors had catastrophic consequences. We will continue our exploration of this idea and much more in the next week.